The FinTech Bridge China UK Conference brings together the 100 top leaders from China and the UK in London to build business and investment partnerships. And it's wonderful to see everybody here with us uh, today. We've got a, a, a really great range of high level people from the investing background, banking, finance, in general insurance, um, tech companies. So it's a, a very exciting mix of individuals. Today's conference is incredibly important, not least at this time of Brexit, really keeping the focus on creating those opportunities, allowing people to understand what's actually going on. There's enormous growth in the fintech sector in China and in the UK, and lots of companies want to export you know, products and services to each other, but often it's difficult if you don't know the right partner on the ground. China and the UK is very uh, complementary in this area because China, Chinese economic growth very fast, it's a very big uh, market for the fintech. Well, this is very important because the uh, UK is the fifth largest economy in the world and China is the second largest. And um, especially in the finance area, London is among you know, the best or the largest in the world. So the bridging of the fintech between the two nations, I think is quite important and has a very significant impact in the future. I think today has brought together, actually been a bridge physically as well, in terms of a, a people coming together in the world of technology, as well as those in finance, thinking about China, thinking about trade. Uh, so for us, I think that it's been a really useful connection place and uh, for us to continue the conversation. I'm here today to talk about how the Belt and Road is expanding not only in infrastructure and energy manufacturing, but also the digital Silk Road. Belt and Road panel, I know quite a bit about Belt and Road, uh, but I thought the panel today was particularly interesting because it brought in some new angles. You know, this is a huge, at, at, it, at its widest point, could be a huge uh, investment uh, opportunity, but it's also a massive opportunity for skills. And having that relationship between China, uh, really the founders of it, and uh, the UK is going to be fundamental. And then the other bit will be later with the, with the Fintech Bridge Journal. This Fintech Bridge Journal is the first publication globally summarizing the 46 Fintech Bridges which exist globally between governments and financial regulators. And the UK really playing a part in eight, five of them as formal bridges and three of them as agreements. How do we get into all of those other bridge relationships? And how do we make sure that we're uh, taking those bridge relationships forward from a UK perspective as well? FinTech bridges are going to be the bridges of the future. Uh, and for us, you know, particularly thinking about how China is related to that and how the Belt and Road Initiative isn't just about infrastructure, uh, it's about the future. And I think FinTech and thinking about how technology relates to that is going to be essential. So to find out more about the FinTech Bridge uh, China and UK conference, visit us online on our website, which is fintechbridge.co. And there you can also download the Fintech Bridge Journal, which was published today and which gives this overview across 46 Fintech Bridges globally for the first time. Oh.